for the third question, we're looking at the induction machines. Right? So this is the question for final exam last year um, uh, regarding the induction motor. Okay? So induction motor in this case, we know that it relies on the induction of voltages and current in its rotor from the status circuit. Okay, and you it is and you are given a torque speed characteristics of the induction motor. Okay, so here the first question asks that if if you are given this curve, okay, identify the starting and pull out torque. So obviously, the starting torque, if we plot it again here, okay, like this, okay, the starting torque is here, okay. And then the pull out torque is here lah. Okay. So how much load can be approximately driven by this motor at its full load condition? Okay. So if we take a look at the graph, okay. So you can approximately uh, see from the graph lah. Okay. Um, the full load torque is we're looking at the uh talk of um about closely to uh 90% okay of the um speed right so we're looking at um the full load talk somewhere here so you can read from the uh talk speed characteristic itself so i'm accepting answer between 35 to 40 newton meter Okay, because this is how uh, if we um, take a projection to the left and you can see that this is the amount of induced torque or full load torque that you actually uh, require lah. okay the pull out torque is some numbers and starting torque is some numbers lah. okay um, all right so this is the full load torque um, so how much load can be approximately driven is this this much lah, okay 35 to 40 newton meter okay so after the inspection of the sheet, this motor this motor is rated at 30 horsepower so the slip in this induction motor is found to be 0 0.05 and the synchronous speed is at 1800 rpm if you plan to use this motor to drive a load of 110 newton meter is it possible so first we're looking at the output speed first okay output speed or nm in the case of induction motor is 1 minus slip Okay, times the synchronous. Okay, so the synchronous uh, is given as, oh, sorry, 1800 RPM. So the slip is at 0 0.05. So 1 minus 0 0.05 times 1800. This is 1710 RPM. Okay, so this is the output speed. Now the output power required is the load torque okay, times the speed of the motor lah. Okay, so the load is you plan to use to drive a load of 110 newton meter. Okay, and the speed we're looking at is 1710 rpm, which is you must multiply with 2 pi over 16 lah, to give you the radian per second. So this will give you 19.7 kilowatt. Okay, now the rated power is 30 horsepower. Okay, so 30 horsepower is actually 30 times 746 746 watt per horsepower lah. so this will give you 22.4 kilowatt now this is what you calculated to drive the 110 and this is the rating okay so you can see that the rating is much higher so upper power required is lesser so thus it is possible to drive okay the third question says that consider the mechanical losses and core losses of this motor is at 500 watt and 400 watt respectively and other losses are zero the air gap power is found to be 24 kilowatt if the motor is rated at 208 volts connected in y to a three phase supply and draws a current of 78 ampere with lagging power factor of 0.92 when driving a load what is the overall efficiency of this motor so we're now looking at finding the efficiency. Okay. So first, what we need to find out first is the power converted from electrical to mechanical form. Okay. So the power converted is actually equals to 1 minus slips times the air gap power. Okay.
Okay, so the slip is 0 0.05 and then I get power is given just now 24 kilowatt. So this will give you 22.8 kilowatt. Okay, so if we take a look at all of the losses that are given, we know that the output power is actually converted power minus mechanical power minus the core losses and then the uh, stray or miscellaneous losses lah. Okay. So the converted power is 22.8 kilowatt. The mechanical power, we know that, 500. And then the core is 400. And we are not given any miscellaneous, uh, miscellaneous losses. So obviously it's zero there. So you, eventually you will get 21.9 kilo, kilowatt. Okay. So the overall efficiency, we're looking at efficiency. We know that we want to know output over input lah. Okay, times 100%. Okay. And we know that the input power to a motor is 3 V phase IA cosine theta. And the phase voltage in a Y connected circuit is V line divided by square root 3. So therefore, 208, because it's rated 208 volts divided by square root 3, we will get 120 volts. So this is a phase voltage. Okay. This is V phase. Now, the lagging power factor produces the impedance angle of uh, 22.8 degrees because what? Cosine angle 0 0.92 is 22.8 degrees. Okay, because this, this is a lagging power factor, eh? power factor of 0 0.92. And since IL is equals to IE in Y connected machine, the input power is actually, we can find out already lah, straight away. Okay. So, V phase is 120 volts. We just calculate just now. Okay. IA is simply 78 lah. Because the, in the question, uh, it says already it draws a current of 78 ampere when driving a load. So, that's a line current. So, since line current is equal to armature current, we can straight away put 78 ampere here. And cosine uh, theta is the power factor, which is 0 0.9. Okay, so this is, this will give you uh, 20, um, some values lah kat sini, I tak kira pula. So the efficiency eventually is 21.9, this is the output tadi, okay, kilowatt divided by 3 times 120 times 78 times 0 0.92 times 100% lah. Okay, so this will give you 84.6%. Okay. Now the last one is, I mean, this is theoretical question, suggest one of the possible way to stop the motor in the event of emergency. So if you look at the uh, theoretical lecture, we know that uh, to stop a three-phase induction motor, first of all, you that's, that's the first uh, option is you reverse the direction of magnetic field rotation. Okay, so first when you start to reverse, the induced torque will be developed in opposite direction. Okay, and then try to stop the machine. And therefore, it, it, it will um, eventually stop the machine uh, when the developed torque in the opposite direction is equal to the induced torque originally in the um, normal direction. Okay? So, the reversion of the magnetic field uh, rotation can be done by switching any two stator faces uh, in order for it to reverse rotation. Lah, okay? So, we call this a plugging um, to, to basically stop. The motor in the event of emergency right so you can write like that and that's three marks huh? okay